Do, 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 do. Where's my dog? Dog meat. Dog meat. And eh, dog meat will catch up. Just to be safe. I've also got an auto save at my house. So in case dog meat dies in the next 10 seconds, we're good. Luckily in New Vegas, they added it in. Unless you're playing on survivor mode, your companions just go unconscious, which makes me happy. Because I don't like losing my companions. Oh no, not Michael Vick. Look at me, we have so many deaths on this. It's... I think it's right here. I'm gonna climb up this mountain. I'm gonna try and climb up this mountain. I, I can't climb up this mountain. I, I hear dog meat. I found dog meat. My dog is not dead. All right, I'm behind Oasis. Local map. Come on, gotta go to Oasis. Gotta deal with the druids in Fallout. I always hate trying to find the path to Oasis because it's like, it's very easy to get lost for it. And for the longest time, I never was able to do it. All right, here's the path. Donovan what what okay what 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 is Donovan doing out here what is Donovan doing out here Looks like you pulled my fat out of the fire again. Thanks. Donovan, what are you doing in these parts? Tracked you using the deal mapper. Riley sent me to find you so I could bring you this. A mini nuke? Not a thing. Rangers take care of their own. You watch your ass out here and come back alive. Holy crap! This is an event I've never seen before! Wow. wow! Yeah, I've I've never seen this event before. Apparently, if you are in Riley's Rangers, Donovan will find you with the Geo Mapper and give you a mini nuke. That's that's awesome. But now he's going to Oasis, which means he's going to fucking die. Howdy, Ranger. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Nothing. Uh, he's from Riley's Rangers. No way! He's got a choo-choo gun! I found this 
I'm just getting all these ones. Hey, Laszlo Radford. Bye, Laszlo Radford. Now I need to go and loot his corpse. Man, so many different things are happening right now, and I don't get it. Got leather okay. armor. What? When I'm on set. Oh, okay. I want to eat Arby's now. I actually like Arby's. All right. The way to Oasis was through the back, but I can never remember the path to get to it. Because there's a special path that you go along. Wait, is that Donovan? Is that Donovan? Is that Donovan going down there? No, it's a hunter. All right. The hunter hunts its prey. As in just a regular old human hunter? Yeah. No, a monster hunter. And when he said hunter, the first thing I literally thought of was the hunter from Halo. I thought you were actually going to say hunter from Left 4 Dead. I don't. You never played Left 4 Dead? I don't, I don't replay zombie games. Mm, that's fair. I'm still looking for a copy of Portal 2 on the 360. Have you, have you at least played it or seen it before? Yeah. I own it on PC, but I want to get it on the 360. Because that's cool. what I want to do the LP on, is the 360 version. Maybe do co-op the... with Link's Paradox on PC. One of the first uh, videos on the second Scarlet Equinox is the co-op between Link's and Civ yep. on Portal 2. Yep. Do the first thing I ever see Civ do. It's a shame they don't embrace their old videos. Lynx literally has the entire Scarlet Equinox he could dig from. He does, but he doesn't really upload. True, I think I found only four videos that didn't have him in it. <laughs> okay, I think I found the path. Found the path. Found the path, finally. And here they are, Oasis. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry, he doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Just a minute. Who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch. And I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. What's waiting for me inside while I eat? Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, Reap. all will be explained. Excellent. Please follow me. All will be explained soon. You are welcome amongst us, outsider. 
Yes, A. Kaiser, dog meat is still alive. I am making sure of that after that scare earlier. If he dies anyway. Should nope. it? No. Dog meat isn't required to die in this game. It's only Fallout 1. Revel, outsider, for he has chosen you! You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are from really inside Birch? Oasis, but yes. he has made an exception. Yes. The innocent creatures are drawn here by the gifts. <laughs> they come from across the wasteland to live in this sanctuary. This part of the world Assistant is Pokemon. Healing, my friend, and it's all thanks to him. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. Sorry, god. God. The tree no minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life. Of a tree minder. The wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry. I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. Let me drink the sap. Hi, dog meat. And quest added, Oasis. Oh, yeah. Keyblade run on. I wish these guys were cannibals. Speaking of cannibals, I'll go to the actual cannibals in a bit. Yeah, cannibals. I, yeah, there's a, there's a town of cannibals. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. I shall praise be to the tree. 
praise the tree. And? Where the hell am I? Well, there's a tree that's right here. And the tree's a person! Meet the talking tree. Glad to see you're finally awake. A deputy tree. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? I've never met a talking tree before. Okay, what's the trick? Is there a guy with a microphone somewhere? Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert. You have a face. <laughs> it's a ghoul, actually. <laughs> this used to be a ghoul. So you're trapped inside this Herbert, I mean Bob thing. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots in. Right in there, you know? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. How on earth did this happen? I still don't understand what the hell you're talking about. So the tree minder said you need my help. So how on earth did this happen? It was a long time ago. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I tend to lose yep. track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside. And we found some weird vats of this... Nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. So, all right, what exactly was that? In the original Fallout game, two ghoul, two friends ended up going to Mariposa Base, where the FEV virus was being held. That virus was inside the vats. He ended up getting some of it on his head, and thus Bob slash Herbert came to be. His friend who fell completely into the vats turned into the master, the creator of the super mutant race in the Fallout universe. The Master is long since dead. He was killed in Fallout 1 by the vault dweller of one of the vaults who was looking for a chip for clean water for his vault. So, this guy is the actual connection to Fallout 1. I forget the ghoul's name, though. I forget it. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or... We're glad to hear that, me and Bob. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? You want me to murder you? Kill you? You can't be serious. Sure. Do you want a bullet in your head or gut? Completely serious. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now. Rooted right into the ground. <sighs> the only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god.
how to put this. I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Look, I don't want to kill you. Of all the wastelanders, I had to bump into it has don't, to be one <coughs> we don't like killing tree people conscience. no let's keep it an open invitation then i don't want to wait until the next person visits can clear the organs years just just think about it okay so well, goodbye for now then, Herbert, or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here too. Like. What's left of me? The name's Harold. So, this is Harold. Enter the caves below and destroy Harold's heart. Well, Dogmeat, do you want to kill a tree? There are multiple ways of ending this side quest. There are three ways of ending this side quest, to be precise. One of which involves us doing what, well, you know, Harold wants us to do. Kill him. Pretty simple. Second one is what we're going to be doing right now. And the third one... Kind of makes it, eh, not so much. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies, to keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Yes. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you. And he would never want to put us in harm's way. I'm afraid Harold isn't a god. He's just a human that's had some bad luck. He's not a god, Bert. His name's Harold. Who just sends with a little just clap? His name's Harold. Oh, he's testing you now. Just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry, you'll soon see things as I do. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. So what can I do to help? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. All right. And what about you, tree mother? 
I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle, a benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world, to give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. So, Laurel's liniment and Birch's sap added. So, these are the two options you can have. You can either pretty much stop Birch, stop Harold from growing, have him grow more, cast aside your bits of or, technology and marvel at his mirror. Or even um What was it called? Or, um... Kill Harold. Killing Harold is the bad option, obviously. It's to be freed. Yeah, I know. He wants death to be freed, You're but... You're among us, and quite welcome. Uh, that's not the good karma option. Branch tender Cypress at your... I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It... You want to die. Sure. Yeah, I know. He, he wants to die, but I have a feeling I can convince him that it's a good thing to live and to grow. Source of all life. Yes, he shall be the source of all life in the wasteland. Just came in with hot chocolate for me. <laughs> oh, that sounds delicious. Didn't even know she was awake. Oh, look, my alert. Listen. Yo. Take that, crab people. What are crab people doing here? Hello, crab people. Crab people. Crab people. Now are dead. Now are dead. Uh, I'm used to Skyrim when nothing swims. Oh yeah, that's right. Nothing swims in Skyrim. So yeah, I just saw the, uh, the swimming animation. I was like, "What?" Oh, look at Dogmeat. He dog paddles. Dogmeat, Dogmeat, what are you doing? Dog meat swimming and killing the Meyer Lark. Don't know if that dog meat is modeled after a war machine. I hope dog meat's not dying underwater. I hope he doesn't have an oxygen meter. I really hope he doesn't have an oxygen meter. To say the least. This is an interesting fight. Oh, 
I've seen him fight underwater. I'm sort of doing the same thing. I'm gonna go underwater. I'm gonna I'm a punch it. Yeah. I'm gonna hit with my beaten stick. Is there a uh, dog meat? Is that you crush bread with a dolphin? Apparently, we can't seem to hurt it. Dolphin. Oh, because the Mirelurk has um. What the Mirelurk's doing? Because I can't attack underwater. And neither can dog me. That's the problem we're having right now. Oh, he killed it. Okay. He killed it underwater. That's all dog meat. Defy physics. <laughs> he just lives on a, a separate plane of existence where physics yep. doesn't apply to him. Pretty much. Why he falls through the floor? Because in his world, there's a hole there. Oh no! <laughs> Watch out for cannibals and Jehovah's Witnesses. I think these are the oh. closest thing to Jehovah's Witnesses in this game. Is the tree minders? Ah, boom! <laughs> Anyway, good night, Keyblade Renamon. Thanks for stopping by. Alright. We're gonna be doing some plot after this. Actually finishing side quests and all that. Oh hi Dogmeat, I see you made it. So door to the sunken yeah. chamber. What'd you say? You made it, Tails, because you said dog meat, you made oh. it. You made it! Hey, hey, hey! Come on, Tails! Alright, see you later, Aether Nightmare. Thanks for stopping by. It's always great to hear from you. Now? She's nice. The same time. Everyone leaves me. Alright, pre war book. Starts. 10 millimeter rounds. 10 millimeter rounds. Cherry bombs. Alright, dog meat. Let's go and expand someone's heart. Which really we shouldn't be doing because that would cause heart palpitations. Pretty certain his heart couldn't have been removed from his body. But you know. Ghoul. He was a ghoul beforehand. Don't worry about it. About heart palpitations. Is there what? any like information on like the biology of a ghoul? No. Human. That no. That's why everyone um, tries to. That's why there's that one guy inside of. Um, is that one guy inside of um, Underworld who's trying to study. Uh, yeah, study the ghoul physiology. Okay, dog meat, you're gonna die at this rate. Come on, let's get out of here. He wants to be frog meat. <laughs> I'd rather him not be frog meat. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Because all he can do is doggy paddle and the Mirelurk's just hitting him. And I can't attack underwater. Come on, get closer. I'm actually close enough to where you can punch. Dog meat, we're going. We're going. We're going. Come on. A Mirelurk king! King crab people. King crab. 
Mmm, Alaskan king crab. Right in Washington, D.C. The crabby family. Dog meat, just don't die. Hi, on us. All right, let's go and find that heart. Meet to his own devices. Mm, crab people. Now I think the heart is over this way. Dog meat, you finally following me? No, you're still going after that stupid mire lark. And here is Harold's heart, which has grown three sizes that day. So, Harold's heart. Destroy Harold's heart. Apply Virtue Sap to stop Harold's growth. Apply Laurel's Liniment to accelerate Harold's growth. Prepare to be having a faster growth. Oh my god, it's dog meat killed it. Dog meat killed the Meyer Lark. Good job, dog meat. Good job. You kept his. If you just touched his heart, I could still shoot his heart. I think. Come on, let's get going. This so, heart looks in pretty good shape. Yeah. Well, I guess you know radiation. Exposed pretty good shape. Yeah, that is very true. No, dog meat. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. That's no. Oh no. Oh my god, how did I not even notice you? Yes, right there. Like a hog movie. Face. That's a face only a mother could love. Not even a mother could love. Oh. Ouch. Um. Uh oh. Dog meat's gonna. Some... King. What makes it king? It just can't wait to be king. <laughs> just have a, a My Look parody of the. The Lion King. Of a. Crab King. <laughs> Mong and Pumba Bee. Grenade! Grenade! Where's my choo choo gun? Choo. Spikes. Uh, 
I blew up the crab people. Not the crab people. Yes, the crab people. How did dog meat just spawn like that? Okay, there's a new cola quantum in here, so I'll take that. Wait and swimmy, swimmy. So, now we are at where Harold is. It is morning. So, you've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of centuries. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. And Oasis complete. And we leveled up. So, let us now put some points into medicine. Into there. Five points. Small guns. And let us see what new perks we have. We have puppies. With the puppies perk, if dog meat dies, you'll be able to get a new canine companion from his litter of puppies. Okay, so dog meat is a boy. Cool. I thought dog meat was a girl. Just wait a bit and you'll find your new furry friend waiting outside Vault 101. How bizarre. So, you've unlocked the secrets of to create a Nuka-Cola Quantum with this perk. Every 10 Nuka-Colas in your inventory is immediately converted into a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Waste of a perk. Where is the big guns one? You know what, we're going to get the size matters one and get our big guns to 100. So now, if we look at our skills, we've got... Oh shit. Oh shit. I think I fucked up. Ah. Wait, no, I didn't fuck up. That's right. 15 plus 75 is 90. Okay, math. Why no here and now? Aerosteam, you know exactly why no here and now. What could have been? All right. So let us talk to Harold. So... It looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? You become an important part of their life. Without you, they're lost. So, they really need me that badly, huh? Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. Awfully selfish of me. Should we give them another chance? Herbert. <laughs> fine, fine. I mean, Bob. I still think it's That's funny. A very strong accent. When I call him Herbert. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get me started on them. 
I'm liable to talk about them all day. It even drives poor old Bob crazy. Actually, the kid is the nicest one of all. Use her name. She sneaks in here sometimes and just lets me talk about stuff I want to talk about. <sighs> Bob really likes her too, because she makes me happy. Right. <clears throat> Gotta go now. And there we go. That is Oasis. With that, we have one more side quest that we can do, I believe, that is a marked side quest. After that, we will be done. Hiya. I don't know. Maybe go play with Harold? I want to hear another one of his super swell stories. Right, and let us talk to we welcome Brother you Linden. Ah, uh, it's nice to have... I've never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps it will serve you better than it served me. And we get Linden's outcast power armor. May you remain under... Hello again, Elsa. I'm very happy to see you. I somehow knew you'd be the one to make the changes that Leaf Mother Laurel desired. I helped to create the hoods that you see all tree minders wear. It's said that the cloth has a part of the Great One Spirit woven into the fibers. I present this to you as thanks. Wear this with pride and bring the message of renewal to all the... Pop Poplar's Hood. So, what does Poplar's Hood do, you might be wondering? Well, Poplar's Hood raises sneak by 10. It is better than our sneaky hat, ladies and gentlemen. It is better than our sneaky hat. But my sneak's 100, and my sneaky hat looks cool. So the sneaky hat stays. Hat is best hat. Sneaky hat is indeed best hat. We welcome you always with outstretch. Yes, outsider. Whatever the tree father or leaf mother would have me do. All right. So let us now head back to Megaton. We're going to sleep a bit and then we're going to finally go and do story. All of us here. Thank oh, you. Oh yeah. Sleep and story. Yep, because of everything, we're going to go to Tranquility Lane. All right, let's go inside here. Let's get rid of Eulogy Jones suit because I don't really need it. I need the ghoul mask. I need that. I need... Linden's Outcast Power Armor gives you plus one, plus five to big guns, plus one to strength, minus one to agility, uh, and plus ten to rad radiation, uh, rad resistance, which is pretty good. Am I not wearing my glasses? Roxas ain't wearing his glasses. Roxas is blind as a bat. That's bad. Where's my choo-choo gun? There's my choo-choo gun now to repair it. Make it nice and perfect choo-choo gun. Perfect choo-choo gun has been obtained. Hey, dog meat. It is time for you to sleep. Time for me to put on my tinted reading glasses, too. So you... will stay. Stay here.
Welcome home, sir. Thank you. He, I, oh, I can be smart without my glasses, eh? Perfect. I didn't realize that. American TV was wrong. I didn't realize American TV was the definer of... <laughs> Great, now I'm thinking of the Wreck-It Ralph joke. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Ow. Oh, you hit a guy with glasses. Huh. I love that joke. Um, huh? Yeah. Too late, can't take it back. It's already it's already been said. Good, good. Alright. So, our next destination. Do you want to deal with cannibals, Kay, or do you want to see more story? A um, man would like to see... Said. What did you say? I said, let's go with story. Story it is, then. All right. So we are going to be heading off now to Scientific Pursuits. We're going to be heading off to the Smith Cassie Garage. We found this place a long time ago. If you go straight to the Smith Cassie Garage, you will skip most of the story side quests. Problem is, you will also lose out on the achievements that are related to them. I'm going to shoot this dog. I killed a dog. I'm an asshole. A dog could be dog, dog meat. No, it can't. It's true. You could never kill dog meat. No matter if you even tried. I mean, I could. Just open up the console command. Click on it. Then kill. That's simple. Come on, a cheating. Console commands are god mode. Tumblers today. Ashtray, prison battery, suitcase. Right. But now that we're going to be doing story, get ready. Because after this side quest comes quite a bit of stuff. Flip the stuff. What's SPCA? A new song. Is it is it the sequel to YMCA? SPCA. It's time to stay at the SPCA. But let us now head off to Vault 112. Cool, I'm going to... It's the A. Society right. for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Oh. Is it as batshit insane as PETA? No idea yet. Any controversies mentioned? Many controversies or none? I think they're decent. Huh. Interesting. But go through here. And what do we have? Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed it's down B2 the stairs Baller. to the main floor. The so B2 Baller, oh god, I gotta kill it then. Lounge. Without getting hit. A drink. No points. Ah, fuck that skill point. That skill point sucks. 
tranquility lounger is Do I get the, uh, the shield? Uh, but the, the shield makes it cheap. But if it's like early shield and stuff, then you can only take like three hits. Oh, uh, I yeah, pretty much. One so, wretching clank, one health. Oh god, that's called no armor runs, pretty much. No armor runs are like the hardest thing you can do in a ratchet and clank game, and they are very difficult. I do not like doing them. I've done one in my life. That was a no armor run of Ratchet and Clank three. Do that. All right, so we need to go into a tranquility lounger. There are two ways you can go about doing this. There is a way you can get the password to the overseer's terminal and get what you want. Shut everything down without having to go into tranquility lane. This way is a lot harder. Because it requires an access control key. For the door, but you have to find the key, and I can never find the key here. No, that's not it. Those are stairs. Hello, sir. I think it's inside here. Generation? Characters? No. Decimating was close, though. All right, so it's either endorphins or containing. It's containing. Open vault deck hatch. Wait, first aid. Two, three, four. Overseer's room password. All right, it's right here. We in a vote? Yeah. I. My brain phased for a second. Yeah, we're in vault one twelve. Vault one twelve. The experiment for this one was to. Um, basically have people be in suspended animation into a virtual reality thing. Oh, I think I know this one. <clears throat> Sorry. No problem. I don't get it. I thought I could just... Up DP. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Random fighting game joke. I, I could have sworn in this one I could get the Tranquility Lounger to quote unquote fail and then do that. Alright, I guess not. Hello, sir. So let's go into a Tranquility Lounger. That one's occupied. Occupado. Broken. Pado. Occupado. Well, there's Dad. Yeah, 
And open the Tranquility Lounger. All right, dog meat, you stay here. I'm going to Tranquility Lane. I don't feel quite as lucky anymore. My sanitizer is no longer active. And scientific pursuits has been completed. Hello. Hello. Hello, dog meat. I see you've made it in here. Doc. That's a good boy. Hello there. I'm gonna ruin the simulation. You know how I'm gonna Hi ruin there. it, Kay? Like Rawr! this. You can't do that here. What do you mean? And now you have to pay. Two seconds. Ah! Oh my god, I I elongated. Why is my body elongated? That's creepy. My face. Uh, oh. Good day. <laughs> like, it turned into like a cartoon character a little bit. I know I did. That was kind of creepy. All right, so I guess we'll just talk to the little girl who has the power to kill me in one hit. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? Where am I? I'm looking at my father. Have you seen him? I'm just looking around. I'll come back later. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? A game? Okay. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. That's it? I can do that? What? That's crazy. What kind of game is this? It'll be funny. Come on. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here, and we'll talk some more. Mm, that's nice. Make Timmy Nusenbaum cry. Yeah, Roxas ain't gonna do that. Roxas instead... What can I do for you, sport? Who is Betty? Betty? Well, she's Betty. You know, you really shouldn't keep her waiting. I didn't even talk to you, though. Where's the lady I have to talk to? Hi there, I'm Timmy. Want to play? I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's evil karma, and it's kind of obvious it's evil karma. What? No, she didn't. I don't um, like it's it. It's just a harsh She's proof. Creepy. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. None of this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. What? You're weird. Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? Alright, where is... The person I need to talk to. No, that's the abandoned. Can I just do this right away? I don't have time to play games. I must remember the code. Right, one, 
two, three, Nope, I was close that time. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm skipping shit. Are you code breaking right now? Yeah. I'm breaking I'm the speed ones. All right, I think I've got it. Yep, failsafe terminal initialized. All right, Vault 112 Auxiliary Terminal Command. Access Chinese Invasion Protocol. Access versions, Dr. Braun Entry, Toucan Lagoon, Braun Entry, Salon Chalet, Braun Entry, Tranquility Lane. Why do we read this? I finally come up with a realization that is Toucan Lagoon Simulation has run its course. I'm tired of beating sun and ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson watching Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing Nessenbaum scream as he's devoured by the Naku Shark. Oh my. The Mako Shark. I'm quite simply bored. It's time to reset the simulation once again. I haven't been skiing in ages. Salon, Salon Chalet. Yesterday, Bither slipped on the Chalet's icy steps and went airborne, managed to impale herself on the wrought iron fence. It was spectacular and completely utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than that bold crimson on flesh fallen, fresh fallen snow? It was enough to make me reconsider a change in scenery, but not quite. 23 years is long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more domestic. And Tranquility Lane. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting. Although distractingly, um, distinctly American, it is somehow reminds me of the Kronak, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe, and when I toy with them, when their suburban illusion is suddenly broken... It is that more satisfying. I do believe I shall remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Access control versions. Display current version controls. Alright. Display previous version notes. Shall we access the Chinese Invasion Protocol? K. Okay. Chinese invasion protocol activated. Yep. So failsafe program documentation. Dr. Braun failsafe. I went to get a snack. What did you what did you miss? You didn't miss much, A eh, Kaiser, but you're about to see something amazing. The days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both the simulation and my life. That is the reason I have requested the installation of General Chase's Chinese invasion program. After all, by disabling the safety protocols, I have ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. Real-world death and simulation, the perfect failsafe. At least I would have it would have been if not for my own misjudgment. I knew that there I knew when the simulation first went online that there was a secondary failsafe, those established for all Vault Tech and military personnel would prevent my own real-world demise in the event the failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. 
It's true the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and the other avatars I would create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so the release of the real world subjects is more than they deserve. Subjects is more than they deserve, more than I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane, alone, and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. Guess what, Braun? We're initiating the failsafe. Wait. I initiated the failsafe, though. Oh, review documentation. Okay, that's why. Failsafe program documentation. Dr. Braun, this is the revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I am not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access to can even run it, but if you can run this program with a failsafe off as requested, your real-world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that. Officially, I denied your request. General Constantine Chase. Alright. And we've gained good karma for murder latent people. Oh yeah. Mabel Henderson. Oh my god, her head came off. You know what, I just thought of something. You know what that is, Kay? What did you think of? Um, there's a child inside Tranquility Lane. You can't kill children. In this game. So one person is going to be left with brawn. Sup? Oh, looks like we got Batman on our hands. Yeah. Good doggy. And let us now talk to Brawn, who we have, you what know. Did you do? What did I do? I activated the failsafe. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell, alone. You ruined everything. Everything! It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I... I just want things to go back the way they were. Where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. Oh, boo-hoo. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology, and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a Vault Tech scientist. 
I created this simulation for vault but for myself as well. It was my own design, my own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Right. Run along now! Alright, so I am uh, free to go. So, everything's all good, right? Alright, so let me just punch you. You can't do that here. Yes, I can. And now you have to pay. What do you mean? Oh, dear lord, no! 